Hey everyone and welcome to Studio the Soil. My name is Lina and in today's video I want to show you how I decorated the mug using polymer clay. Here's what I'm going to be using in today's video. So first, what I usually like to do is create the draft on paper to know how I want my future mug design to look like. Today, I'm going to be decorating the mug with this diner zor. And for that, I'm going to be using the green clay, then also another tone of green, black, and another green color that I mix out of the scraps. This is also one of the ways I like to reuse polymer clay scraps. So I'm going to be using that on the inside for our design and cover up with the original green color. And I already conditioned the colors of the polymer clay. And what I'm doing first is creating the base using the polymer clay scraps. So I'm flattening the piece a little bit and start cutting out the head and the body. I'm also attaching the pieces to the mug to see if the size is right and if not, I'm just trimming it a little bit. After I touch the head, I'm attaching the body. And after I touch the body, I'm attaching the tail. After that, I'm going over with the tool and kind of hiding up the stems in between the pieces and smoothing out the surface. When the base is ready, I'm flattening the green color on a minimum thickness on my pasta machine. And after that, even flattened a little bit more using the rolling pin. Then I'm deattaching the base from the mug. And covering the space with the original green color. Then I'm cutting off the excess on the sides and wrapping around the edges. After that, I'm attaching these back to the mug and tucking all the parts on the side and making sure that it's all getting stuck to the mug. After I touch the body to the mug, it's time to make some of the legs and hands for the dinosaur. For that, I'm forming the thickest string and dividing this in two equal parts. And after that, I start pinching from one of the sides and making another side flat.
attaching to the body, seeing if it's the right length. And if it is, I'm attaching it. And doing the same procedure with the second leg. For the second leg, the only difference is, is that it's going to be a little bit shorter since it's a little bit on the side. And doing the same procedure in adding the arms. And the arms gonna be a little bit smaller than the legs. When the legs and arms are attached, I'm adding on a little tiny circles to the front side of the legs and arms. After that, using the soft pastels, I'm adding a different tones to the front side where the belly is and also to the back, to the spine, I'm adding a little bit of the darker green. After that, I'm taking a darker green color and cutting out the stripe looking piece. And after that, on one side of that, I'm creating the little triangles and adding on to the side of our dinosaur. And then adding another piece to have it all the way to the end of the tail. Going over and making sure that it's completely attached to the body. Now it's time to add on the eye. For that, I'm flattening the white clay at a minimum thickness, cutting out a lip shape and cutting off the bottom of it, attaching to the head. And then I'm adding on a little bit of the black on the side of the eye, just a tiny little string. After that, I'm cutting out the same shapes out of the green and black lay and just reducing the size. Attaching first the green and attaching then the black. And also I'm adding on some blacks to the eye with two tiny white circles. And here's how the eye is looking like. 
Now it's time to add on some texture to our dinosaur. For that, I'm going to be using the tiny straw and also the back clip side from the earrings. So I'm just stamping all the way on the back, leaving just the belly and the bottom of the face without it. After that, I start adding the tea. For that, I'm again using the white clay, cutting a tiny string and start slicing some triangles of it, adding out a few teeth. And with the same way, I'm adding on some nails. And here's how my mug is looking like so far. I'm going over it again before baking, checking if I like everything. I'm uploading it into the oven, covering it with the loose piece of aluminum foil, adding on the portable thermometer to control the temperature inside the oven. I'm taking the mug out whenever the temperature goes back to the zero and the mug is cooled down inside the oven. Here's how the baked piece is looking like. Now I'm deattaching it from the mug. And in order for it to have a better grip, I'm sending the backside of our design. And also I'm sending a little bit the mug where we're going to be gluing our design. After that, I'm mixing the epoxy resin. My resin has one-to-one -one mixing ratio. I'm applying a little bit, mostly to the center of our design. Then attaching it to the mug and securing it with the masking tape. And leaving it to cure for 24 hours. And here's my final result. Here's how the mug is looking like. Now it's safe to use. And I usually just don't recommend to wash the mug decor in the washing machine. But other than that, it's super easy to clean. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, please leave a comment down below. And we see each other in the next video.